Which which wish which we can wish? Which which wish which we can wish? Which which wish which we can? Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, dear subscribers and those that are really, really like following me closely. Those that have just tuned in do feel at home to join me in today's video. I'm really sorry I could not tape or film anything last week because... Life happened, so yeah, life happens, right? So let's just get on with life already. <laughs> So today's video is about a get to know me tag. I received a few questions from some of you and some of them I just had to look up on thanks to Pinterest. So some ideas did come from Pinterest and some of those questions came right from you. And there's a bonus segment of this video or to this video that I am going to just um, include. So do stay tuned if you want to see more of what I'm doing or what I've done for today's video um please do not forget to subscribe comment share and like this video and give me a thumbs up like i said like by giving me a thumbs up subscribe by tapping that red button or those red words which say subscribe and please do not forget to you know turn on your notification bell so that you be the first ones to get the latest of the latest content from moi yeah so okay before I get to the nitty gritties of this video, I just want to acknowledge my luck. My luck. <laughs> those that know me, you guys, those that know me personally know that I am a face beatician. If that should, if that should be a word. Face beatician. Quite technical, right? It just simply means glam queen. I'm a glam queen and I'm AKA makeup artist, AKA beautician, AKA whatever you wanna say or whatever you wanna call it. So into the nitty gritties now of the video, do check me out on the other side. Are we back on? Okay, so first part of this video is just random questions that I'm going to answer and if you feel one of your questions wasn't answered, please leave them down in the comment below because there was, I don't know, I had issues with selection. So yeah, I needed them to be YouTube friendly. What are you very good at? I'm very good at being creative, to be honest. I'm very good at being creative. Would you ever visit a nude beach? <laughs> nude beach it depends it depends it depends if that's one of the one of my bucket list items maybe i would but honestly speaking i have no bucket list just yet because i don't know i just didn't get time to create it you know um would i ever visit a nude beach to be honest i don't know <laughs> what is your guilty pleasure hmm my guilty pleasure okay i'm someone who loves to take to food no matter what if i'm very happy excited stressed this and that my guilty pleasure honestly is food i do like to take to a corner and just you know <laughs> nibble some chocolates here and there i do love chocolates that's my guilty pleasure if it's not chocolates then it's frozen yogurt but since it's rare nowadays in my city i think i just still do take to chocolates what did you binge watch recently? Honestly, I'm not really a TV fanatic anymore because I have YouTube now. Like, not not that I didn't have YouTube. Hello, <laughs> I have this to do, so I don't really binge watch on like anything, any 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 time. Especially recently, I haven't been binge watching anything because first of all, when I have to really binge watch something, it has to be a series, and I'm on it, and it's just like a marathon. So I haven't binge watched um, anything recently. Um, yeah. What have you read that you enjoyed? The SMS from my friend? No, honestly speaking, I, I, I really don't take time to 
to read because of how busy my schedule is every time I have to do something. It's work, 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 I was reading the baddest text messages yesterday, so. <laughs> Are you similar to your parents? Similar to my parents? Well, especially if I have to make an accomplishment or an achievement, my mom will always say, you're just like me. You take after me. R.I.P. Dad. Dad, I think I take after you in as far as ambitions. I'm really quite ambitious a person, so my dad was, was equally ambitious. You know, he was well-traveled. He was aspiring to be this and that. So when it comes to aspirations in life, I think I take after my dad. And I do take after my mom with regards to just being organized. My mom is very organized with herself. She loves to be organized. You know, I think I take after her in that regard. What superstitions do you believe in? Hmm. Okay, well, not that I even believe in them, but there is this saying which goes, what goes around comes around. I don't know if that should be a superstition or it should be a saying. I don't know, but um, if it qualifies to be a superstition, I think I believe what goes around comes around. What would you love to do in a crisp, on a crisp fall day? What would you love to do on a crisp fall day? Maybe do take a walk to alone and just enjoy the leaves of fall season, if that's what the question is about. But if you understand it in a different context, you guys, please do let me know in the comments below. But the way I, uh, I understand this question is, what would you love to do on a crisp fall day? Crisp, typical fall day. I would love to just take to the loan, like I've said, and just enjoy the fall leaves, you know, and just, you know, swing around them and take photos and stuff like that. I've done that before with my friend, Evelyn. That was one time at the University of Zambia on the loan during fall season. What is your favorite city? Hmm. Lusaka City. Beautiful. Lusaka City. Beautiful. Lusaka City. Lusaka City. I guess that answers your questions, y'all. <laughs> what is your idea of the perfect vacation? Which I've never really even been in a while. Like, I've never been on a vacation, you guys. But my ideal of the perfect vacation would be at Zanzibar. I've never been to Zanzibar, but I'd like to just take some time off to Zanzibar, you guys. It's one of those dream vacations that I have on my wish list. I haven't made a bucket list, but there's a wish list somewhere. So Zanzibar is um, my perfect vacation idea. With my friends, of course, my girlfriends, they know themselves. I have this squad of friends, crazy, crazy friends of mine. And I would really love to take um, some time off with them, honestly. Who is your favorite author? The one that wrote The Government Inspector and the one that wrote Animal Farm. Because when I took literature and English at school, I remember having followed those stories closely. Maybe even the teacher was very good. So because, I mean, Mr. Mdenda, big ups to you, sir. Wherever you are, big ups to you. You made me love literature because... The way that you narrated those stories made me feel the events, you know. So, the author for Animal Farm and the author for The Government Inspector. Honestly, I've forgotten who those authors were, but I really did enjoy those books. Do you collect anything? Yes, 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 I do collect stuff. One of them would be jewelry. I love, 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 love jewelry. Sometimes I even just combine random pieces. This is random. This was random. I honestly have never done a choker with dunglings or round, um, you know, hoops. I haven't done such a combo before. But I do collect jewelry, you guys. An example would be here. So I don't know if you can see that. But these are all earrings. Oh! Oh my... Sorry for that mishap. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to prove a point. <laughs> All in attempt to prove a point, Gail. So, ooh, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. So, I do collect jewelry, you guys, from hoops to, you know, my Traeger's earrings to studs, chokers. 
random stuff in that regard. I like saying this word in this video, in that regard. Please don't mind me. Um, what are you irrationally afraid of? Irrationally afraid of? Hmm. Ugh, spiders. Okay, that's my biggest fear. To be honest, I... I don't know why I'm so scared of spiders. Sometimes it just freaks me out. I remember being a small girl and um, our stepmom was taking us to school and we're in this vehicle. I remember that was a white van. Um, yeah, we were headed to school. So suddenly when we just approached a corner, honestly speaking, I was really looking at that spider from home. Like the moment we got on the car from home, I was already looking at it. I was like, there's a spider in this car. I didn't want to tell her immediately, but I was really on edge about it. I didn't want to tell my twin sister either because it was going to freak us out. And it really did freak us out at some point. And she's like, oh, what's, what's wrong with you? We screamed. We literally screamed, you guys. We screamed our lungs out. And it was just a tiny spider. So how irrational was that? I was irrationally, and I'm still scared of spiders, honestly, even today. Have you ever performed for anybody? No. No. No, I haven't. I haven't. No. Do you prefer sunrises? I'll rephrase that. Do you prefer sunrises or sunsets? I think I am more of a, a sunrise person because, man, this melanin got to feed on some sunrise. Yeah, so I think sunrise gives me the power to just get on with my day so I prefer sun sunrises what is your favorite fairy tale and why I honestly don't even like fairy tales I, I don't have a favorite so skip that question would you rather coffee or tea um it depends because if it's coffee let it be black if it's tea let it be black also so Whichever, tea or coffee wouldn't be bad. Okay, but I usually am a tea person. I love tea. I love my tea. Okay, I love my tea. Um, What is one of your favorite scents? What is one of your favorite scents? I honestly love, uh, there's this perfume, if I could remember the scent. Oof, it's, it's, uh, I've forgotten the name. Gosh, what do I have to remember? Okay, but anyway, to cut the long story short, I think I could refer to one of these scents around that I already have. So I usually prefer the scent coming from coconut oil. I love the smell of coconut oil. The moment I apply it, whether on my skin, my locks, I love coconut oil. The smell, it gives that pleasantly tasty, delicious smell. My cat tends to even just want to lick my skin every time she smells the coconut oil beat on my feet my hands she just want to you know lick it off because it smells so good it sure does smell good <laughs> what would you love to learn about what would you love to learn about i really love to learn about um i really love to learn about human behavior like why do we behave certain ways sometimes like there are so many stereotypes surrounding human beings, be it women, men, boys and girls alike. So I'd really love to learn about human behaviors and tendencies and stuff like that. What movies make you cry? Hmm, I remember I have cried over several movies, you guys. And sometimes it would be tears of joy and others would be tears of sadness. So it depends on what kind of crying we're talking about here. Well, I basically got emotional over certain movies like The Greatest Showman, um, Adrift, if you've watched them, um, movies like Django Unchained, um, movies like um, this recent one, Queen and Slim. <sighs> Those were movies that I got to cry about. There are several others that I can't even remember, but I remember crying a lot during a movie. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I took myself out for a movie and it was in a cinema and I would literally be there like crying because it was either sad or it was happy. 
Last questions, guys. Guess how many questions this were. If you guess the correct answer, I will owe you free air. I will owe you air time, especially if you're in my country, Zambia. Um, you do get to answer this uh, question correctly, and I'll send you some air time. I hope you can be on MTN. I'm, I'm not really meaning to be biased. My job is with MTN. So if you answer the question correctly, be an MTN subscriber and I sure will send you some free talk time on me, not on MTN, on me. Okay? Okay. Last question would be, what is your favorite board game? Oh, it's like they knew that I love board games, these people. I love, 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 love board games. And I just do love um, Monopoly because it just, you know, brings out that innovation in you. It brings out, um, analy uh, <laughs> it brings out analysis analytic skills in me so i love board games like monopoly i love scrabble but monopoly just overpowers everything so especially when i'm playing it with the most fun people i love monopoly so coming to the next segment of my um get to know me tag video i would love to bring out these would you rather phrases or statements yeah they're they're actually statements saying would you rather so i'm gonna have to choose which side i'm on would you rather this would you rather that would you rather this or that so here we go here we go would you rather always have to tell the truth or would you always have to lie me i would always rather have to tell the truth because i'm a brutally honest person when it comes to telling the truth i tell it as it is i tell you the truth whether you're happy about it, whether you're gonna be heard about it, do expect the truth from me. Would you rather never be able to speak again or have to say everything on your mind? Would I rather keep quiet or rather say everything that I have to upload? Honestly, like I said, I'd rather tell it to you as it is. I'll, I don't like keeping things to myself. I'd rather tell the truth as it is and I'll tell it all. But I'm not a kiss and tell kind of person. But I'd rather just tell the truth as it is. When I want to say it, I'll say it. Would you rather be allowed to wash your hair only once a year? Or would you rather be forced to wear socks? Wet socks, by the way. For the rest of your life. Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay, so I'm a locked head. And I believe sometimes giving your hair a break is good for them. So I'd rather be allowed to wash my hair only once a year. I'm fine with it. I'll be free forming then. So yeah, maybe it would be only a good thing for my locks. So maybe just go for this. Be allowed to wash hair only once a year. Would you rather be in the real life version of The Walking Dead? Or would you rather be in the real life version of American Horror Story? let me not lie i have not seen these are they series or movies i honestly don't know but maybe the walking dead if you have seen the walking dead please let me know what it's like because i'm choosing i'd rather be in the real life version of the walking dead over the other one which says american horror story i have neither seen the walking dead nor american horror story so please let me know in the comments below would you rather tongue down a new york city sidewalk Ooh. <laughs> or would you rather press your tongue into a stranger's nostril oh <laughs> running my running my tongue down the sidewalk of a new york city busy as it is it's a nitty-gritty city run my tongue down the streets uh, no and then this one which says press your tongue into a stranger's nostril maybe do the <laughs> do the former than the latter you know would you rather have the hiccups for the rest of your life or would you rather always feel like you're about to sneeze but you can't <laughs> first of all I hate hiccups when someone has a hiccup I tell them please 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 grab a cup or glass of water I can't stand hiccups so I'd rather always feel like I'm about to sneeze, but I can't. Like, <sighs> you, I got you on that one. I got you. <laughs> so 
So another one is, would you rather use a sandpaper as toilet paper or would you rather use hot sauce as eye drops? Woo! Both of them don't sound pleasant at all. They don't sound pleasant. Sandpaper, ouch, as toilet paper. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, God, no. <laughs> I'm having to choose one of these. Okay, I'll go for the sandpaper. I'd rather use sandpaper as toilet paper than use hot sauce as eye drops. Would you rather be sticky for the rest of your life or would you rather be itchy for the rest of your life? Sticky, itchy, sticky, itchy, sticky, itchy, sticky, itchy, sticky, itchy. <laughs> would I rather be sticky or itchy? I hate being not like either. Ugh. Okay, maybe I'd rather just be sticky so that I could, you know, stick good things on me if I have to steal money from somebody. <laughs> Don't tell. Um, yeah, I'd rather be sticky than itchy. Would you rather lose an arm or lose a leg? I'd rather, I'd rather lose, I'd rather lose a leg because I'm a hands-on person. So with my creativity, I love to use my hands a lot. So I'd rather lose my leg. Would you rather have to wait in line or would you rather get rid of all the bad drivers? definitely get rid of all the bad drivers in this world you know yourselves especially those that never love to give pedestrians the chance to cross on a zebra crossing it's not good what are you racing for you know life is a race that's enough driving should never always be like racing even if you're rushing to work at least recognize the road signs so i'd rather get rid of all the bad drivers would you rather be toothless? Well, oh, sorry for that. Would you rather be toothless? Would you rather be bold? I would rather be bold. I love a good set of teeth, you guys. Check my teeth out. Check that. See that I have all of them intact? I love these teeth, you guys. I love, love, love these teeth. I haven't done any cosmetic whitening. I haven't done any extraction. I've only had a filler once up somewhere in here and that was only just small um, so I guess I have good teeth I keep them well I'd rather be bald because I do love the way I look when I'm bald so I'd rather be bald than toothless would you rather be burnt sorry let me just rephrase that would you rather burn to death would you rather freeze to death I think I'd rather freeze to death I hate fire I hate fire would you rather have no nails would you rather have no hair <laughs> that contradicts my previous answer because I love being bald but then would I rather have no nails would I rather have no hair I'd rather have no hair I'll still go with that I'd rather have no hair would you rather never be able to open your mouth Woo! would you rather never be able to close your eyes <laughs> <laughs> imagine sleeping with your eyes open imagine chewing with your mouth open i love to talk a lot i love to talk a lot so i'd rather i'd rather never be able to okay no wait wow would you rather never be able to open your mouth would you rather never be able to open your eyes to close your eyes okay i'd rather never be able to to close my eyes because I'd want to be on site with everything like I just want to be able to see what's going on around so I'd rather never be able to op to close my eyes sorry would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or would you rather never be able to speak again okay this one repeats the question the question earlier on so I would always have to say my mind out so I'd always I would always have to, 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 to say everything on my mind. Would you, would you rather be stranded at sea? Would you rather be buried alive? I don't see the connection though. Would you rather be stranded at sea? Would you rather be buried alive? I never even imagined what it feels to be buried alive. I wouldn't want to imagine that. Yeah. I think I'd rather be stranded at sea. Uh -huh. I'd rather be stranded at sea. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, you guys. This is uh, this was a get to know me tag video, and with nothing much but questions and answers, 
this is what it is it has come to a final wrap to a wrap to a wrap which we twist which you could wish i remember that tongue twister so if you could add more tongue twisters in the comment section below i would really appreciate it because i would want to exercise my tongue before getting to talk in my videos in most of the videos so please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and also please turn on your notification bell so that you get updates on my new videos on my new vlogs so the next vlog will be about um doing my mother's face so do stay tuned for next uh week's video um yeah and do not forget to share my page with your friends friends and their friends 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 and friends yeah the cycle goes on so do not forget to do the needful this has been gail aka blacknificent goddess and bye bye see you later